welcome back to the channel. My name is Chloe Taylor, the creator of Coffee, and today, my friends, we are actually doing a mod overview for a brand new world in The Sims 4 that is created by Nando, which I will talk a little bit more about that at the end of the video, as well as installation instructions and things like that. But for right now, I just wanna focus simply on the mod, what it does, what it looks like, and basically show you what it does to your game. So if you guys clicked on this and you are familiar with world maps in the game, basically this is a world map mod that changes Forgotten Hollow into Sakura Hills, which I believe is how it's pronounced. Changes it into Sakura Hills, which is like a Japanese or Asian inspired cultural uh, cherry blossoms are everywhere, things like that. It's absolutely stunning and I will show it to you. I wanted to start here with a map preview. So basically when you put this mod into your game, this is what Forgotten Hollow will turn into. And let me also show you what what it looks like from here. So you have the ability to put this in as a normal map that is residential, and you can also make it a destination map. You can only have one at a time. And when I say destination, I'm talking about like Granite Falls or Salvadora, but basically this one, I set mine to be a destination world. So my Sim can actually travel to Sakura Hills. Now, unfortunately, when you put this mod in, it does still say Forgotten Hollow, but look at this this beautiful graphic. I don't know if Nando designed this himself or if someone else did, but my absolute applaud on that because I think it looks honestly stunning. It literally looks like it's part of the game. So this is the cute little graphic when you click on this. And like I said, I have the mod in right now as a destination world, but you can definitely use this as a normal world where you can come and just live. Now, the first thing I want to point out to you guys is all all of these, uh, I guess, lots, I had to place these down myself. There is no pre-made lots for this mod at this time. I do believe there was a collaboration going on recently, which if I find it, I will link it down below. But there was a collaboration recently where a few different simmers got together and made lots for this world. But basically, I just went into the gallery, I typed in Japanese, and then I started basically just looking for lots that would fit those places. So um, right now I do have a sim that I'm playing with named Avery Kim. Uh, she was originally a black pink sim that I just totally modded over. So <laughs> that's why my game says black pink, but I just want to show you how beautiful this world looks and basically talk about what the differences are. So Basically, I did go ahead and put this spa in that, again, was from the gallery. So uh, we do have a little day spa in our destination world that is very Japanese inspired. Now, look at this world. Are you kidding? Look at it. So basically, we have the Japanese cherry blossoms all over the place. You can see that, well, it looks a little bit misty in my game currently, but I feel like the world as a whole just, well, I mean, it's not that I feel, it's true. You can see it with your eyeballs. That the world does just look a lot lighter, meaning you know, Forgotten Hollow that we have normally in The Sims 4, if you have the vampire game pack, Forgotten Hollow is a very dark town. Like it looks like it's almost nighttime all the time. So it has been modded to basically have a daylight and a nighttime cycle. And we also have all of these absolutely gorgeous cherry blossoms everywhere. Now, the thing that I do want to mention is all of the collectibles in the game. So, you know, basically when you come here and you go to like pick up stuff off the ground, harvest collectibles, all of the collectibles are still vampire based. So those have not been changed, but I do really want to highlight and honestly give a huge thank you to our moderator Nando because this takes so much work you guys like stuff like this. You have to realize that all of this stuff 
has to be replaced in the game assets. And so this took so much time, it had to have. So, and just look at how stunning, it's so gorgeous. We have the fencing that is different. We have all the cherry blossoms out everywhere and even the day and night cycles. I mean, even if you go into here, normally this is like a big vampire sculpture and that has been altered. So even just like the little details, you can tell that there was just a lot of thought, a lot of planning and just so much went into this and it's honestly absolutely gorgeous. So I really, really, really love how this turned out. And I love that we have the option to have this as a normal world where you can come and live if you want to, or you can also come and use this as a destination. So you could be like, you know what? I just want to go on a little vacation. So it's very similar if I do say so myself. And I'm, I don't know if that was the intention, but uh, it's very similar. If you guys remember the Sims 3 World Adventures, which was a fantastic expansion in the Sims 3, it reminds me a lot of how you could travel to like Chompsley Sims, or I don't remember what the Asian inspired one was, but I love that Nando has given us the ability to actually kind of have that in this game. Now granted, of course, it's not exactly the same, but we're working with mods here. So I love that. I feel like World Adventures, I'm not gonna lie, in The Sims 3, I was really highly disappointed by when I found out that was what we were getting, but it ended up being one of my all-time favorite expansions because it was just so fun. So absolutely stunning. So we have all of these replacers. Now I do also want to say that in terms of installation, I have a couple of videos that I will link down below, one for Mac, one for PC, on how you can install mods in your game. However, this mod is not like a traditional mod. <laughs> yes, you still are going to put things in your mods folder, but you also will have to replace something in another part of the game. And Nando, thank goodness, there is actually something when you download this mod that you are able to, he, he just gives like a really great description of walking you through like what to replace. But I just want to remind you guys, there is a part in there that says, hey, back up this file, please, for the love, back up that file. <laughs> back up that file because you probably will need it back if you decide that you do not want this world in your game or that you want to change it back. I guarantee you, you are going to make sure that you have that file in savings to put it back. Now you probably would be able to get it back if you like really mess something up, but it's just easier if you keep it on your computer and then you have the ability to switch it out. So when a moderator tells you you need to back something up, you better listen is what I'm saying. Don't take that lightly. So as I was saying, we have like a little collectible something here. It looks like a wild wolfsbane flower. So we do have still the little vampire collectibles and I know there's more as well. So that is what we have for that. There is no like special things you can do or anything. It's, it's just like an... I almost want to say like a recolor in a way, but just with a lot more objects and it just makes the area look very different. So I could see this being absolutely fantastic for those creators that love making machinimas, or if you just want something different in your game that you don't already have, I feel like this was so beautifully done. And there is word that maybe they are going to be, Nando is going to be designing something else in the future. So I'm really excited and looking forward to that. And the last thing I want to go over is if you guys want this mod in your game, I believe the day that this video is going live on my channel, which is April 6th, 2020, the day that this is going live, Nando has said that this mod is going to be available to everyone. So you will be able to download it. I did become a patron so I could have early access to this so I could record it a little bit early, but you guys should be able to get it as well. But I want to encourage you all to please, if you have a favorite moderator, Nando or any other, please, I encourage you, if you are able to, go and support those creators. I know times are extremely hard for all of us. So many of us don't do it unless you have the ability to, like don't feel guilty. But if you do have the ability to, please go and support those creators. This is Nando's Patreon, which I will link down below. And this is not in collaboration or anything. I just really appreciate the modding community. And I also just wanted to read a little bit more about this Asian adventures to you. So we have Welcome to Sakura Hills, the world transforms for 
Forgotten Hollow into a beautiful place filled with cherry blossoms and stunning sunsets. This project took me many hours as I've been working on it completely on my own. To my patrons, thank you a lot for supporting me throughout this time. You are the reason why I continue to create new huge mods for you. Some of the changes listed, brand new foliage, trees, etc. completely recreated lighting situation, change visual effects for bigger impact, added new barbecue area with picnic tables, brand new map view with world icon, new Japanese inspired gates and fences for the world, removed the fog and added the option to make the world a destination world. So you guys will also need to have the Sims 4 vampires and the Sims 4 get together those are required for this to work. Uh, the Sims 4 outdoor retreat is recommended if you want it to be a, if you want this to be a um, destination world and not just one that you can go inhabit. But basically that's what you will need in order for it to work. So I will leave more information down below for this if you guys wanna get it for yourselves. Again, I think it is so beautiful. So thank you so much Nando for creating this. I really appreciate it. I think we as a community, I can say that as well really appreciate mods because you guys just bring such new exciting beautiful things to the game so thank you so very much don't forget you guys to follow me on instagram and twitter i am at coffeeyc over on twitch where i stream every single week and my podcast available on 10 different platforms it's called twin flames it is a podcast that i co-host with my in real life twin flame we talk about psychology astrology spirituality practicality and it's all about shifting the perspective she has a master's in psychology and i I bring the spiritual aspect and we just kind of compare and contrast and talk about the similarities and the differences there. And it's a really great podcast. So that is available literally everywhere that you listen to podcasts and we would love to have you. And I will see you guys on Wednesday for an episode of Coffee Unfiltered. Love you guys so, so, so much. This is Coffee signing off. Mm.